Welcome back. I'm Kevin McNulty. Regional finals taking place across the state tonight in boys basketball. Let's jump right in, starting in Division 4. The first of two D4 games in the UP this evening. It was Forest Park and Lake Linden Hubble meeting up at Lakeview Gymnasium in Nagani. First quarter belonged to Forest Park's Kevin Giuliani. Big fella backing down Gabe Popko and one. Trojans lead by three early on. Then Giuliani's brother Vic gets involved. The freshman with the steal, coast to coast to the iron, and he makes it a 15 to four game with three minutes left in the first. Final seconds of the half now, Vic Giuliani to the rim. He drops his defender and beats the buzzer to give the Trojans a 15 point lead at the break, but the Lakes made the run in the third. Popko for two, nice and easy. Deficit down to 11. Then Danny Marcotte, he heated up, top of the key, good. It's a 10-point game. Lakeland and Hubble got it all the way down to six before Forest Park settles back in. Gabe Cavedo, no good from outside, but both Giuliani's there for the putback. And Forest Park handles business the rest of the way. The Trojans are your regional 25 champions. Kevin Giuliani, what did it take? I mean, we've been working hard in practice. I mean, Felix Covado, our starting point guard, dislocated his elbow in the football season, dislocated again against North Central. I'm still battling the Achilles thing. Just we all had to work hard and get back to where we are right now. And now we're just loving life. And it's time to find out who the Trojans will be facing in the next round. It's the winner of the Regional 26 final between Munising and St. Ignace taking place at Sioux High tonight. We'll pick up the action in the second half. Munising trailing by nine. Saints moving the ball around. Ethan McLean inside to Trevor Visna. Gets it to Johnny Angles, who's good for the and one. More from St. Ign Iggy now. Angles with it to the quarter. Cordell Kilscrow knocks down the triple. Saints by 11. Mustangs trying to fight back. Carson Keenitz out to Jack Dussault for three. That one drops. It's a 12-point game. Mustangs again. Tyler Nelson to Trevor Nolan. Tough shooting night for him, but he buries that one. Munising still trying to crawl back in. Keenitz on the drive. His shot won't fall, but he gets the rebound back out to Nelson. And another triple. The deficit is 10. On the other end, no stopping Johnny Angles tonight. He drives, stops, pops, and picks up two more for the Saints. Saints fans, they're fired up at this point. They can smell a win. And that's what they would get, 58 to 42, your final score. There will be a new state champ in Division IV. Well, we got a good start that kept us ahead a little bit, which was nice to be a little bit ahead. And then we kind of finished the game with free throws and, and made some plays at the end to extend their lead, yes. Yep, they guarded Johnny well, and I don't know what he had, but, uh, you know, he's a good player. Their point guard's a great player. They're both a great matchup, and it's fun to watch guys who can play, play basketball. Yeah. We played really good. My boy has been playing with me for like eight years, so we're really well together, and it's just really fun to win with these guys. Now the Saints will tip off with Forest Park at 7 o'clock Tuesday in the state quarterfinals at Gladstone. Heading over to Manistique for the D3 Regional 17 final between Menominee and Elk Rapids. Early on, Connor Caduti making his name known from the corner. He gets the Maroons on the board with three, but Elk Rapids, Christian Kerfoot, Trying to play catch up, brings the Elks deficit down to four. Now back down the court with Menominee, a Turkoff to Turkoff connection. Tanner with it on the wing. It lands in the hands of Trevor for two off the glass. Now it's Kerfoot again on the other end to Zeke Bold. And he's up for two. Menominee still leads by six. Now check this out. Tanner Turkoff, end of the half, got it to go. Three more points for the Maroons on the board. A Quick run out to the locker room. They lead at 35-21 at the half. Now the end of the third quarter. Haven Somers with the layup for the Elks. They trail by 16 at this point. But Turkoff brothers back at it again, looking like they're on the football field. And Tanner slams it home. The Maroons, your regional champions. Final score, 58-37. to Here's what head coach Sam Larson had to say about it. I think having that tournament experience two years ago was really a factor. A lot of these guys either were contributors on that team or at least uh, with along for that run. And so they kind of saw the crowds, they saw the, the atmosphere of tournament basketball, and it's not something that's brand new to them. 
Well, it's a great day to be a Maroon. Let's check out who they'll see on Tuesday. It'll be the McBain Ramblers, the champs out of Regional 18. That one will get underway in Lake City at 7 p.m. Tuesday. And finally, the Kingsford Flivers in Gaylord meeting up with the Ludington Orioles. Close one late in the third. Ludington down five. A big bucket there from Spencer Holmes. Flivers by two. Then Gavin Grondin to Jacob Markworth for the layup. Flivers by four. David Schillinger for the Orioles here. Goes baseline back within two for Ludington. Now a quick play from the Flivers here. Morgan Slake. Gets that one to go off the glass. Then turnovers were pivotal for both teams down the stretch. Holmes pokes that one away from Kingsford. Then on the other end, he ties it at 34. Under a minute left. Oriole ball again. Gavin Trevilian knocks it away. And he's all the way down the court. 4-2 off the glass. Flivers lead again, 36-34. And one free throw later would put them up three. Ludington, one last chance. Can't get it to go. It's blocked. The Flivers are moving on, and they are pumped up. What a game. 37-34, your final. And the Flivers moving on to the D2 quarterfinals against Flint Powers Catholic. Those two will meet at Big Rapids High School Tuesday night.